we're standing in Frith Street now in Soho, the famous Frith Street. Um, over this side we've got Ronnie Scott's. Over here we've got Bar Italia, the haunt of the mods. A uh, lot of history in this street. This street in the 50s was um, where all the Italian street bookmakers used to be because you didn't have betting shops in those days, it was illegal. So you used to have a lot of Italian men or people associated with Italian men standing in this street taking bets off of the members of the public. Uh, and there was a, a big, a famous gang fight here in uh, 1955 known as the fight that never was. Um, this guy Jack Spot and uh, another bloke called Albert Dimes were having a little war over who was controlling um, controlling all the, the bookmaker pitches at, at race courses uh, and this was the street bookmaking pitch so Albert Dimes was sitting outside his was sitting outside Bar Italia on his car um, and Jack Spot uh, he he challenged Jack Spot uh, and said he wanted to see him which was sort of very demeaning to a man of uh, Jack Spot's stature so Jack Spot approached him from I suppose over where we're standing now with a knife uh, and went for him So Dimes was here sitting on his car, Jack Spot approaches from over there, um, and Dimes runs away. So if Spot had any brains, he would have just left it because this street was full of people as it is now. Um, and they all saw him run, so uh, Jack Spot's credibility would have been, you know, sky high, but he chased him, so the pair of them ran down here. Dimes ran into this shop here, which at the time was the Continental Fruit Stores. Um, and when he went in there, Spot started stabbing him. Um, Spot was Jewish. The woman who owned this place was Jewish. She saw him stabbing Albert Dimes, so she picked up the big pan that they used to weigh all the fruit in and started hitting him over the head with it. Uh, so Dimes got the knife off of Spot and he started stabbing him. So th this, this whole fight in here, um, I don't know, it would have, would have been over in a few minutes but when, when it was over, um, Dimes went to the Middlesex Hospital, which used to be up there. He had a big wound in his scalp, um, uh, he, and he had a, a punch, a, a stomach wound as well. Uh, Spot went to Charing Cross Hospital, which used to be in Charing Cross Road. Um, he had his face was all ripped to open and hanging down because he severed a muscle in his face. Uh, and he had a punctured lung and a few other wounds as well. So he got patched up down there. Um, so this street was full of people, but when the police turned up, nobody saw a thing. Uh, the long and the short of it is they got separate trials. Um, Spot went to trial first. Uh, he, he was looking dodgy for him. He was pleading self-defense. Um, and all of a sudden, a vicar turned up in the uh, witness box. Uh, the Reverend Basil Andrews of um, Kensal Green turned up in the witness box uh, and, and testified that Spot was the one who was attacked. So he was acquitted. Um, but while they were waiting for Dimes' trial, it was found out that this vicar wasn't all that he seemed and he had a lot of gambling debts that Jack Spot had paid uh, and Jack Spot's wife had paid him to testify. So his uh, testimony was worthless. So Dimes' um, Dimes trial was halted, uh, you know, as, as you know, he, he couldn't be tried fairly. So it, then it was called the fight that never was. Uh, and it not, you know, at the time you had the spies, uh, Burgess and McLean, were on the front page of the newspapers um, uh, and that this knocked them off and because in those days you couldn't be, once you were acquitted you couldn't be tried for the same thing they both went into the newspapers giving their account um, Dimes uh, gave an interview to Duncan Webb uh, Billy Hill's pet reporter uh, and said uh, that Spot had said please don't cut me out but please you know all this newspaper talk so uh, this was a huge fight and it was the end of Spot in Soho really Dimes you know he, he he had the, the street bookmaking. If you've been watching Peaky Blinders, uh, the street bookmaking that came from the Sabinis was inherited by Dimes. So he carried on and Spot was chased out of the West End uh, forever. So this 
all happened in this street. Like a huge uh, Soho gangland legendary fight happened in this shop when it was the Continental Fruit Stores. Because 